another day another problem so let's solve hello guys i hope you are all doing well today we're gonna solve the problem tree sum so let's get started by reading the problem given an integer array nums return all the triplets such that uh, i is not equal to g and i is not equal to the k and g is not equal to the k and the total of the, these three numbers is equal to zero notice that the solution set must not contain duplicates triplets the brute force way to solve this problem is to try all possible combination of array indices the solution has to make sure that the result doesn't have any triples that are repeated the function sort each set of solving numbers to make sure that is not already in result this sort is always for three numbers so the times it takes to run doesn't go up as n grows the solution passed 308 out of 311 unit tests but a timeout error caused it to fail that makes sense since the solution is not efficient but we can solve this problem with a quadratic time complexity for make of use of a sorted array let's see how it's gonna work so we have this list of numbers the first thing we're gonna do is to sort this list and then we're gonna iterate throughout the sorted array starting at four and we create a left pointer and right pointer at the first iteration the left pointer gonna point at the number that come next to the first number and the sorted list which is minus one the right pointer start at the end of the list mean it's gonna point at the number two so the target is number zero so we sum up the current number and the left pointer and value and the right pointer value then we check if this if the sum of the left pointer value and the right pointer value and the current number is equal to zero if it's smaller we move the left pointer for example we have the left pointer value equal to minus one plus the right pointer value equal to two plus minus four which is the current number the total is going to be equal to negative three so we have a sorted array with greater numbers at the right and smaller numbers at the left means if we move the right pointer to the previous number the value will decrease and if we move the left pointer to the next number the value will increase so now we move the left pointer to the next number and we repeat the same process and each time we check if the total of the left and right pointers value and the current numbers are equal to zero. Then once the left and the right pointers meets each others, we're going to start the next iteration means that the current number is going to be equal to negative one. So the current number is negative one and we sum up the left and the right pointer values plus the current numbers it means minus one plus two plus minus one is going to be equal to zero so the total is equal to zero means it's equal to the target here we're going to push the current number minus one and minus one means the left value and the right value two and to the result array after that we move the left pointer to the next number zero and also we need to move the right pointer to the previous number so the total here is zero so we push minus one and zero and one and to the result array then we move to the next iteration after the left and right pointers meets each others so here the current number is minus one means we're gonna repeat the exact same process and we will have the same values that give us the target zero and the conditions say that we need to avoid duplicate triples so we check is the next value inside the sorted list is the same as the previous number if true we jump to the next number means we skip this no the current number so we skip minus one and we jump to the value zero so and the left pointer gonna be one and the right pointer gonna be two so now zero is the current number so we sum up the left pointer value and the right pointer and the current number means one plus two plus zero it's gonna be three so three is bigger than zero so here the left gonna meets the right pointer and we don't need to move the current number anymore because we need three numbers so let's jump to call in the solution the first thing we're gonna do is to set a base case where the length of the list is less than three return empty list then we sort the list of the array then we initialize an empty array that's gonna hold the result after that we're gonna start looping over the sorted list now because we have a sorted array we set the condition if i is bigger than zero and the current number is equal to the previous number we continue and skip the current number because we want to avoid a duplicate ripple so to be pushed inside the result array then we set the left to be i minus one and the right to be at the last index of the list and we start iterating until the left meets the right pointers if the number at the left pointer plus the number at the right pointer plus the current number is equal to the target zero then we add the three values 
the current number and the number of the left pointers and the number of the right pointers inside the list. And we move the left pointer to the next value and the right pointer to the previous value. So here we need to set the condition after we move the left pointer to the next number if the left value is the same as the left minus one for example minus one here and this example is we move the left pointer to the next value so we that we can skip the duplicates triples to be pushed again inside the result array and the same for the right pointers Else, if the total is less than zero, we move the left to the next number, otherwise we move the right pointer to the previous number. And finally we return the result array. So for the time complexity is going to be often uh, square because we are iterating throughout the sorted list and also the left and the right pointer iterate throughout the rest of the sorted list. And for the space complexity is going to be often because in the worst case every three numbers can form a valid combination. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.